Okay, guys, welcome back. We have uh, managed to do quite a lot of work, but Toby here um, is getting a bit big for the hatchery, so we're going to have to take him out. Baby Toby, doing well. Thank you, buddy. I've got you. Uh, there have been a small amount of changes. This is an ep this episode is going out before we've had a chance to uh, to name uh, any of the the, the colacanths um, on camera. Uh, we now have Toby, obviously, um, but the main thing that we're going to be doing today uh, is to be changing one of our exhibits. Uh, basically, what's happened is the Denonicus uh, in the Denonicus exhibit are causing us lots of problems. They keep on despawning, then they keep on respawning, and then by, by the time they've respawned again, there's now there's then twice the amount and all that kind of stuff. So basically, unfortunately, they're a bit broken. So we have decided that rather than having Denonicus there, seeing as we already have five Velociraptor eggs, we thought it made the most sense for us to actually just transfer all of our Velociraptors into the uh, the Denonicus exhibit and uh, and retire our uh, our Denonicus to Denonicus Heaven, which I think is probably the most sensible thing. So uh, <laughs> it's it's a hard decision to have to do this kind of stuff, but um, <coughs> it, the, the dinosaurs they just they just don't work properly. Denonicus don't work, and apparently the Velociraptors do. Seeing as we have five five Velociraptors, we will we will uh, hatch these guys now, uh, and then basically what will happen is once the Denonicus have been sorted out in a future patch, then we will make a new Denonicus exhibit. Anyway, uh, today we have already set up the, the uh, Donaldson exhibit for Velociraptors. We put lots of tall grasses in and things that Velociraptors really, really like. So that should hopefully look really, really good. We have also finished off the Triceratops exhibit's uh, foliage as well. Um, lots of very, very boring, boring sort of tree spawning and stuff. So we decided not to show you guys, and rather just show you the end product. Uh, and then on this episode as well, just so you guys know, you have uh, the chance to name the next of the dinosaurs that we make an exhibit for. So make sure that you head over anything apart from Dononicus now. Make sure you're subscribed to the CAFCast and you like the video and then you can then choose what you want the next dinosaur to be. But if someone has already named the dinosaur that you want to see, make sure that you upvote that person's who, who, who named it because basically the way that it works is the one with the most upvotes is the one that we're doing. So if seven people come along and name T-Rex, for example, uh, then T-Rex won't happen because it needs to be seven upvotes on one post rather than seven sort of like separate posts. Anyway, that's all been explained. How are you doing today, Lubot? I'm doing good. I'm doing my little egg hatching dance around them. That's good. I like more. it. I like it. We uh, we will be doing a uh, a memorial for the uh, the wonderful wonderful uh, dinosaurs that have have fallen, but we thought it was unfair to make our viewers who have already had the chance to name some animals uh, just like lose their names. So we're actually going to use the four names: Fang, Talon, Dinny, uh, and uh, Dinny the Velociraptor still works. It's fine. Uh, and uh, Grey Tip. We're going to use those four names as uh, as names that we're going to be using for the Velociraptors. And then you guys have a chance also on this episode to name the fifth. So there you go. There's two things for you to do. Name the fifth Velociraptor. Uh, and also, obviously, as I said before, you can choose the next oh. dinosaur exhibit that we start working on. How are they, how are they kind of? Are they, are they ready? 95%. Okay. Right, Bailey, you're going to have to come over here. Come on, Bailey. Oh! Okay, he's there. He's, he's flying. He's Sit flying. Down. Sit down, Bailey. There we go. Oh my god, wow, he's standing on top of other ones. Oh god. Oh, wow, they make pretty scary noises. Did you hear that? Oh. They make proper, like, like jurassic y kind of noises, don't they? Yeah, they look pretty uh, pretty hardcore. I love them. That's fast. That is amazing. Oh my god, there's a third one there. Are they all, are they all owned by you? Let's have a look. There's one here, Lubart. Lubart, yeah, this is good. Lubart, yeah, Lubart, Lubart, Lubart. Lubart. And then that fifth one, Lubart, yeah. Good, okay, so you, you are in charge of the Velociraptors, my friend. Um, so what we need to do is, I've got ten levels. How many levels do you have? Uh, not many. No, I've only got three levels. Ah, right, okay. No worries then, no worries. Well, we have to, uh, as we've said before, on many an episode, 
we have an unfortunate situation where uh, you cannot make or craft name tags and we need name tags to keep our animals alive. So what we're actually going to be doing uh, is making those name tags and if I need to give myself some in some uh, levels and I will I will do that. Uh, now what we've got, we've got Fang for one of them. Yep. We've got Talon uh, for another one, which are still Talon again. The second. This is. <laughs> do you want? Should I, should I do Fang the second, Talon the second, like that? Uh, I think we can do Talon the second because he did die uh, legitimately, but the others. Okay. You know. Fang Talon the second. Uh, we've got Grey Tip, which I don't have enough levels for now. So what I'm going to have to do is just get uh, some uh, bottles of enchanting here and make it rain. Making it rain. Oh my god. Making it rain. Holla holla. Making it rain. Uh, I need like 15, I think, to do the two. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So that's that done. Awesome. I can get rid of those. And um, then we have a look at, so Fang, Talon the Second, uh, Grey Tip, uh, spelled with E rather than A, and then uh, Feeder, which is weird. That's the wrong thing. Uh, here we go. And we've got Dinny. There you go. Right, so those are the four names. And then the fifth name we will save for when somebody chooses. Oh, God, I'm going to try and get in here and get out. There we go. Perfect. Right, so so Dinny, this is you. You're Dinny. There we go. Great tip. This is you. Uh, yep. Oh, did I go in? Yeah, I did go in. Great tip. Tell on the second. This is you. And hey. Fang, this is you. There we go. And then we have one here that needs a name. So anybody Unnamed. out there wants to name this specific dinosaur right here, this could be your name right here, right here, guys. Don't forget to uh, to name it. Right, okay. So we can leave these guys in here. They're all going to be nice and happy. Do you want to hop out quickly before the, they run out? And There we go. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'll get Betty to come with me because I don't want him to hang around with the Velociraptors. That could be a bit dangerous. Uh, but we can show you guys the, the finished exhibits really quickly because that hopefully will be quite interesting. Uh, and um, also, I have Toby to uh, to go and put down. Caf, I just remembered we've actually got a couple of uh, colocanths. Uh, we do, yeah, we have we have uh, the, the colocanths. But as I said at the start of the episode, Lou, but we don't have any names yet. Uh, uh, for those for those code accounts, so they're not going to be pl placed out until we have fair. those names. But what we do have, which I can show people, um, which is probably quite interesting, we changed one of the the things about the way that the pathing system now works. We're still going to have rails on either side, ingoing and outgoing rail, as we described before. But there's something a little bit different about the centre part here. It's called road. And it's very, very simple to make, so we managed to make quite a lot of it. Oh, that's the Tinker's Contract. I want to ignore that one. It's this one. It's just uh, plastic sheets from Mine Factory Reloaded with stone bricks all around the outside. The plastic sheets is just the raw plastic, which you can smelt down rubber bars uh, from rubber trees. So it's very, very straightforward to make. Um, and basically what the road does is make you go like you're on the motorway. So you can do a bit of a... Uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm walking backwards, Luba. I'm walking backwards. Ha ha! Overtaking me, are you? Oh, you son of a gun. Off he goes. So even... De actually, jumping sometimes makes you launch forward like crazy. Oh, it does. If you, like... If you jump at the same time, it makes you go even faster. Look at that. Whoa! That is just, like, the quickest thing you can ever do. I mean, my God. I'm a little bit back over here already. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Cookie Monster. How you doing? Oh, I don't know if anybody saw as well. Now, Cookie Monster has a cookie. don't know if anybody uh, noticed that. Lubot did that. Good job, Lubot. Good job. Cookie Monster here has a cookie. Yeah. Right. So, the Velociraptor exhibit, which we haven't got anything in right now, um, but it is ready to go, is just here. And we'll hop up to the sky area. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what. We'll go into the, we'll go into the staff area because we need to go through the staff anyway to, uh, to drop off Toby. So well, let's nip in here. We can also uh, drop in on Sarah and uh, Trinity as well, see how they're doing. Um, but yeah, so this is the exhibit here, as you can see. The the trees and stuff have stayed the same. We've still got some water and stuff for the, for the Velociraptors. But what we do have is just like a hell of a lot of grasses because the Velociraptors, obviously pack animals, they do love to be able to hide in these taller grasses. It's one of their sort of like um, natural instinctual kind of things. So we've decided to make sure it's nice and grassy for them. Uh, and hopefully sort of more will sort of like grow as, as time goes by. I think it looks really, really cool though with the Skybridge and everything. It's all it's all been set up for them. What do you think, Lubot? Yeah, I think with the Velociraptors, they're going to be so much harder to spot, especially in all oh, the yeah. grass. But there's five of them, so hopefully it will yeah. make that make it a bit easier to spot them. Um, 
I see Sarah's butt and I cannot lie. It's hanging right through this glass. Oh my with a, god. With a, with a itty bitty waist and a. Yeah, that's it. Oh, hello. She's just there. She's just knocking him out. Hi, Sarah. She has uh, grown. Sarah, yeah, she's getting pretty big now. They all, they all are. Um, and Toby uh, is as well. So, boom. There we go. There's Toby. And I think. Let's have a look. To oh, Toby just got hurt by something there, didn't he? No, he uh, he'd grown and oh, he ate. had a chance to eat. Yep. Yeah, he ate by the thingy. Okay, good job, Toby. Uh, he is two days old currently, and Sarah, let's have a quick look up here, is also two days old. So there we go. So we've got Sarah, we've got our fantastic Toby, and also, if we can go and find Trinity. This is the exhibit, by the way, guys. I know that you all haven't seen this yet, so I should just demonstrate it a little bit. It looks really, really cool. We managed to get a couple of these redwood trees uh, out as well. There's a, there's a piece of dirt just up there. A little piece of dirt, hanging out, having a good time, relaxing. Uh, but there's like a sort of a three a tri trifecta of trees there, like three together. There's a, a really, really tall redwood here. There's another one on that side. And we also, because it's a lush redwood forest, we also have like everything that you can grow through, through bow meal, which, which means everything that can't hurt the animals. It's just free to roam, so it basically whatever it wants to grow can grow. We've got millions of, of uh, bone meal in the in the in the area anyway, so we just got it all sorted out. We've got loads of mushrooms and stuff, and then this area over here is our more dense redwood area. It's a different type. It's the it's the quart redwood trees the, with the four blocks rather than the uh, the singular blocks that kind of work together, and loads of bamboos and stuff. So I think personally, it looks really 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 cool. I don't know what everybody else thinks, but I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. And here she is, baby Trinity, hanging out, having a good time. So we've got two. I'm going to just take that block out for you, mate, because you're, you're sort of hanging out a little bit. Really, really tall. <laughs> God, dear, right, dear. Um, So we've got now that's three Triceratops. Um, and uh, I did double check, and, and uh, breeding is on. So uh, we'll have to wait and see whether or not they uh, they do produce any babies. That could be That could be a whole lot of interesting going on. A whole lot of interesting. But we'll have to keep our eye on it. Baby Toby is fully fed and having a good time. Sarah's knocking about over here. There are a total of 10 feeders in this exhibit. Uh, and there are four in the smaller exhibits. So that's pretty. That's a pretty consistent kind of uh, numbering there. But I'm glad that we at least got two colours of, uh, of, of these guys. Um, apparently sometimes the biome that you spawn the dinosaurs in can affect where, uh, what colour the, uh, the animals that come out are. But... Um, mm. But for some reason, Sarah decided to change colors. So that's fine. She can do that. She's allowed. Ah, so there we go then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you have all enjoyed the episode today. What we will quickly do is nip back to the Velociraptors and, uh, and spend the outro looking at them doing their thing. Whoa, road so quick. Oh, my God. The, doing that jump thing, dude, is, like, makes it so much quicker. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And the Zucast sign. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think we're doing really well here, Lou, but I'm really happy with how this series is going so far. Yeah. We are it looks so pretty awesome. Hey, little foot. How you doing? Oh, man. Everyone's doing so well. Kath, did you have uh, a museum piece, by the way? Oh, yes. No, that's a very good point, actually. We need to do that. I'm going to eat some raw uh, pork because... Uh, do you want you know, potato, guys? No, so I'm just going to eat raw pork because sure. uh, you know, that's, what, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I just gave Bailey some by mistake as well. That's fine. Okay, right. Um, well, I've already shown you how to get into the secret exhibit, so there's no point in... Uh, but I'll tell you what you could do. Have you got a sign on you? Is there, is there any signs in the chest? Uh, yes, I do. Damaged uh, Zombie Pigman Figurine is what, it, what it's called. All capitals. Damaged Zombie Pigman Figurine. And I'm going to head down and pop it in the... Uh, there we go. And pop it inside the exhibit because it's going to look pretty good. Where should we put it next to this one? Sort of here, do you think? Like that? I'm coming back with my sign now. There we go. I think that's the right place for it. There we go. Here he is. He is a damaged zombie pigman figurine. And he's doing very, very well, I think. <laughs> oh, man. If only we had a better skeleton figure there than that one because that one is still a bit broken mm. that's good that's good yeah perfect that's all sorted oh my god we've been so progressive so don't forget guys on this episode please make sure that you have named the uh, the name for the velociraptor and also chosen the next dinosaur exhibit for us to do brachiosaurus tyrannosaurus what else have we got that's really cool 
We've got the Dilophosaurus, we've got some Pachycephalosauruses, Lipurodons, mm. Brachiosaurus, Pleosaurus, Compsognathuses, Pterosaurs, Spinosauruses, Tyrannosauruses, and not to mention the fact that we have all the new di new uh, DNAs from all the dinosaurs in here as well. Uh, so we have Velociraptor, Pachycephalosaurus. I can actually put in, tell you what, we're going crazy. Here we go, this is a bumper episode. Two oh my God. Velociraptors, naming two. Velociraptors, guys, because I'm putting another one in as we speak. So that's that's now a total of six that are going to be living together, which is really, really awesome. So until next time, let myself and Lubot get a, get a little break because we've been very, very busy. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Kaf and Lubot has been Lubot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Say goodbye, Lubot. Bye. You've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos.